Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Um, I have a real treat for you today. I'm gonna be showing you some of our amazing anatomical models. Um, so we focus a lot on, in past episode, we focused on our taxidermy, which is cool about um, animal anatomy and, and stuff like that and zoology. Um, but today I'm gonna be talking about human anatomy. And these pieces are really special because they are so exceptionally beautiful. And, um, you know, we have had them in our store for many, many years. They're classic, but we just uploaded them to our website this week. So now people from all over get to enjoy these amazing anatomical models. So I'm going to give you a little preview of what you'll see when you go onto our website now under the anatomical models category. And we'll link to that, of course, in the email we send out and in the description below. So just let me turn you around. And so we keep them in our skeleton case. Um, so these are our real natural bone human skeletons. So these are all real. And um, we thought it would be appropriate to keep these anatomical models in with them as well because they are the closest thing to real that you're gonna get um, in this kind of a format. And so a lot of anatomical models that are available are sort of more functional. And I think that I really like these because not only are they accurate, but they are absolutely beautiful and so incredibly well made. And I can tell you a little bit about the design behind them and how they're made and what makes them so special. Um, so they're made by a company that was founded in San Francisco, um, but really is, I think, kind of an international company at this point, and they do business with people all over the world. Uh, the background of the people that work for them is in special effects and makeup and costume design and all kinds of like movie making and video games and all kinds of stuff like that. And um, so they have sort of a they have access to a lot of like imaging technology and CG and stuff. So what they do is that they work with, you know, medical scans and they recreate human figures in, um, you know, in real life. And then they use their artistic design skills and special effects skills to create these amazing models. And these models are actually used by some of the biggest names and, um, you know, in, in, in film and design and, and video games and all of that. Guillermo del Toro, the famous director, uses these anatomical models as reference for character design. Um, also, uh, Richard Taylor, the founder of the Weta Workshop, the people that did all of the, um, you know, costume design and, and character design and special effects, makeup and all of that for the Lord of the Rings franchise, which my family is a big fan of, um, also uses these models. So they are incredibly, incredibly useful for anyone who is an artist, as well as obviously for medical study. And what I like about these figures is you can see, you know, kind of the different phases, right? These guys in particular. So this is the skeletal phase. So you see the incredible detail of this and you can see not only so on one side they have kind of just more of the bony and on the other side they have a little bit of tissue sort of connecting the different bones so you can get a sense of what that what that looks like turn them around so you can get see the back as well so they take the time to include that those sort of variations so that you can see how the skeleton is built sort of from the ground up and then my second guy here is a muscle man, but unpainted, right? So you can see all the muscles, all the ligaments. There we go. He's also got an eyeball. So you see one without the lid and one with the lid. So you can see that difference. You can see the difference between cartilage and other types of muscular tissue, some, um, you know, like muscle over the abs on one side, but not on the other. So you can see the difference between that and then all the way down. And then these ones 
that are painted. These are all these are all um, hand painted. So it takes an incredible amount of work to do these. And so this one is kind of just a painted version of this guy. You can see the veins and stuff like that going down his leg. And then this one is a half and half, right? So you can see the, muscu the musculature on one side and then you see the skin on the other. And I mean, you tell me if these don't look incredibly realistic, right? So these are a sixth scale and then they also have a series of one third scale humans. Um, here we have the female and again it's kind of a half and half and she spins so you can see a full 360 which is really just just incredible and the larger figures also come apart a little bit so like the arms will come off so if you need to study just the arm in context you can see you know exactly how the hand would look. Let me see if I can get the, get it to focus a little more. There we go. So, um, yeah, it's really, really amazing, really amazing craftsmanship. And we have a whole bunch on our website that we have just added. Um, we also have just the heads. Right, so if you just need to study the head closely, right, the structures of the head, the internal structures, the skin, the hair, everything. And then we have a male bust, right? And you see, again, the eyes, which are very cool. One side with a lid, one side without. And then this one might be my favorite. This is the bisected woman. So on one side, you have just a total sort of plain figure. And then on the other side, she spins and she's completely bisected on the inside. And there is, um, you know, it's uh, written what the different anatomical structures are. Brain, nasal passage, the tongue, the larynx, all of that all the way down. So you can get a real sense. And there's something that you can get you know, more than just, you know, looking at a two-dimensional chart, right? Or a series of series of prints, you can really get a sense of the person, you know, what a person's real structure is inside in a way that you can't just by looking at pictures because you can really hold it, you can move it, you can manipulate it. And that's what artists use when they're creating different characters and stuff. They need to be able to really get a sense in 3D of what the person is going to look like. So anyway, um, that is a little preview of our anatomical model collection that I love so much. And I hope that you guys will check it out. Thanks a lot. Bye.